All right, so today's mission is the oil barrel. The oil barrel can be found within your lesson folder. You click and drag it to Maya, the OBJ, and it opens right up. Hit six on the keyboard, and we have this. So the premise of this lesson is to learn how to hand paint textures, okay? And also how to do an entire asset, a very simple asset. Now, we break down the asset into big, huge chunks. First thing we need to do is separate the asset. Okay, we got two parts. Then we're gonna do some mapping on this. Have the UV texture editor window open. And you can see that this is a big, huge, hot mess. It's supposed to represent a barrel. If I ever tried to paint on this in Photoshop, I could not do that. So I have to make this look like a barrel over flattened out. All right, to first get started, let's go into the side and pick some big, huge chunks of geometry. Let's go into face and zoom in. I'm going to pick all the faces that I can. And then hold control and deselect the ones I don't want. Using shift and control, I can add more. So learn to highlight and deselect things. That's the number one thing. So again, that's shift and control to add a bunch. Just control to deselect things. And then shift and control to add things. Okay, there we go. These are the UVs that I have highlighted. Notice it goes all the way to the brim. And this one goes all the way to the brim also. This got highlighted by accident, but that's okay. We'll get rid of those later. What I'm going to do is do, under polygons, create cylindrical mapping. Okay. There's the barrel. And now what I have is all this stuff. If I take the faces, select them should get the top and bottom now there's two shells here if I hi highlight a couple UVs at the top and hold control right click to shell and hit W on the keyboard I can move this over to the side you're gonna find that there's this hidden shell if you had highlighted the bottom Grab all the faces. Now I should have just the caps. I'm going to go into the top and do a planar map for these. Okay. Okay, so there's two shells on top of each other. I'm going to grab the UVs. A one UV here. Control right click to shell. Hit W on the keyboard, you're going to find shell 1 and shell 2. Alright, the last little bit is this little gas cap thing. And I'm just going to create a planar map for that. And then set it off to the side. If I highlight all the objects together, I get this. What I need now is the UV checker pattern. Okay. 
I'm going to copy that. On my desktop, I have this oil barrel folder. I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to set my project. Project set. And make sure it's set to that folder called oil barrel. And then I'm going to save this in there. So far, so good. Let's go into Finder and make sure I have this TIFF. Hypershade. You should have that TIFF from last um, lesson. Okay. Now I'm going to go in here and choose oil barrel. This is a blend by the way. Uh, you can tell it's shiny just like this one. Okay, Middle mouse button click and drag that down. Texture, middle mouse button click and drag it down to default. There we go. I'm just going to assign this to the barrel. It looks like it assigned it pretty well. In fact, so well that it's very uniformed. Okay. Nicely uniformed. Well, there are parts to this that need to be changed. Um, this part right here, this little gas cap thing, is very big compared to the rest. It does not need that much resolution. The smaller the squares, the more resolution you got. So you don't need that much resolution. In fact, I'm going to shrink that way down so kind of like the squares match. Just like that. Okay. Then all these objects are going to lose a little bit of resolution based upon they need to be on the UV. 0 to 1 ratio over here. So I'm just going to move them. Kind of pseudo line them up as a square. Put this one in the middle. I think I got some texture distortion here, so I'm just going to fix that. On the edge here of these two bigger shells, before I shrink these down, let me, we have to unwrap these. So, if you grab an edge, control, right click, to edge loop. Control, right click to UV, I should be able to hit unfold. Okay. Now you can see that pattern makes more sense right here. This one, this shell is going to be a little bit different since this is the bottom of the barrel. It's going to need to be a little bit special. Um, what's going to happen is it's going to flip around. You, you know this from the last video. So I'm going to go in here to the UVs, go right click to shell, and then flip it around. Okay, And then I can grab edge, to edge loop, to UV, and then unfold. Okay. You can see that, that there is a distortion right here that's occurring. I need to fix that also. See, better. To edge loop, to UV, unfold. Okay, the gas cap thing has the same problem. So edge, to edge loop, to UV, 
and fold. And then in the center of it, I'm going to use the lasso tool. I'm going to try to only get the very, very, very center of this. There we go. Perfect. Now, in the next video, we lay it out and do a couple other things to it.